Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Week three of Me Made May is in the books. I have been working so hard on all my works in progress, and Monday was the first day I've been able to wear the fruits of my labor, so to say. Uh, this is Simplicity 1717 in a cotton woven, and although I really want to like skirts on me, there's just something about them that don't fit quite right. I am going to hold on to this one, though, to see if the fit improves as I am losing some weight. Speaking of works in progress, I spent Tuesday at home cleaning up my sewing room and working on finishing more projects. I wore my Carolyn pajama shorts, but I was too lazy or maybe I was too motivated to finish my hand sewing to get up and do a proper video. So all I have is this kind of crappy picture that I posted on Instagram. The fabric is a children's print from Joanne. On Wednesday, I wore another recently finished works in progress. This one was finished completely, but needed an alteration to make the neckline narrower. This is McCall 7350 in an art gallery knit called Magnolia from their Charleston collection. I'll always cherish this dress as an homage to my time in the holy city. Fun fact, I got the pashmina from Goodwill. Isn't it a perfect match? On Thursday, I filmed my new Dana Marie Design Co. A Little Something Extra Dress, so that's what I ended up wearing for the day. Again, there are some minor fit issues on the bottom half that I hope will resolve themselves as I lose that weight. You can see more of this dress in my April Makes video. I will link it in the top right corner. Friday was a work from home day and I was in ready to wear lounge clothes all day. So in lieu of a video of me maids, I hope you enjoyed this video of Sunny because the only thing better than me maids is my Sunny Bear. Another day, another finished work in progress. This grain line willow top was cut out just last month, but I never got to sewing it. I was going to a flea market that Saturday and I knew I wanted something cool and cute. The top fit the bill, so I hurried to finish it that morning. The fabric is an embroidered cotton from Mood. On Sunday, I wore a dress I am really proud of. I took a big risk by pairing these two fabrics together, and I had no idea if it would work out or not, but I think it really does. I get a ton of compliments from strangers when I wear this dress, and I think it's just because it's so unique. The pattern is McCall's 7160, and I made it from a double brushed poly from Cali Fabrics. Well, that's going to do it for week three. I will be back very soon for week four. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of my outfits, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!